Uh, my name is Gil Headley, and I have been involved in well, studying anatomy for uh, a couple decades now. I began studying dissection uh, and trained as a rolfer. Uh, so as, as, a, as a rolfer doing dissection, I naturally had a keen interest in, in the fascia. Why fascia? Well, it's there, for one, and it turns out that if we pay attention to it, we can learn a lot about human movement uh, and uh, movement pathology. Uh, as well as um, learn to be more whole in our bodies. So I think that's something that uh, pretty much everybody's looking for. How can I feel good in my body? And if, um, if that question isn't easily answered with what we know so far, then we take it a few more steps forward. Uh, I've done that through uh, the exploration of the human body in the laboratory uh, as uh, doing dissection. So I've been teaching uh, human dissection courses for the last uh, 22 years now. And uh, two first rolfers and massage therapists, now yoga teachers, Pilates instructors, and folks from all modalities, really. Oh, it's just like all bodies of knowledge, they grow over time. So when you first see something that you're interested in, you see it superficially. And if you remain interested in it, then you come to see more and more deeply into it. I think that's true also with the human body. So at first, it just looked like a big thing. And then we learn to discriminate and discriminate more carefully. And I think the, the rise of interest in fascia is a function of our paying attention more closely to what's in front of us. It's a simple time. Well, it's kind of like it's, it's kind of like a, a photo negative, you know, when you, you've been looking at this version of it for all this time, and then you go, oh my gosh, what what uh, what is shaping all of that? What's giving us the lines of space? So it turns out to be over here different tissue. So it's a shift in focus and that shift in focus allows us to suddenly explain things like the movement of our tissues in a way that we couldn't understand if we simply focused on a muscle on the bone. It's essential because that's what you're touching. In other words, when you place your hands on a human form, you touch the hole. Right? You can't not touch the hole. And so if you're going to touch the hole and you want to understand the different textures in your hand, that's how you can discriminate. So even though it's one thing, it's your body is filled with different textures. So a body worker works by feel, right? They don't have x-ray eyes, they have, to have x-ray hands. And so as they touch and feel the tissues, you can feel, oh, this is this certain texture on the top, but just beneath it, it slides. What's that about? And is it sliding or not sliding in a given area or a given person? It answers questions for yourself. You go a little deeper and the tone becomes a little more dense and bouncy. Now we've hit deep fascia and through that muscle tissue and then I get my fingers around here and I feel bone. It's a way of uh, helping you to identify as a hands-on therapist all the textures in your hand and then to enrich your understanding by understanding when those textures are healthy and when they're having difficulty and how to serve the challenges that people face in the salon. Well, at least from this conference, I'm seeing a lot more energy being put into uh, understanding the, some of these micro-anatomical aspects of the tissues that have escaped our notice before, so that we can say, oh my gosh, fascia isn't just some inert substance, it's actively contractile with its own special cells that do that for it. It, it has its own particular um, uh, nerve uh, nerves servicing the tissue, which have different functions than they do for other things that have nerves. So, so to see how the how, how this tissue functions, and then how to see understand its dysfunction, and serve people uh, by uh, understanding those different issues. Check out fascia. <laughs> That's cool stuff. <laughs>